Hi, this is Bill Latham, the High Tech Lawyer, and today we're going to explore the conversion of documents from PowerPoint on the PC to make them usable by Keynote on the iPad. And we're going to show you how to transfer those documents as well. So what we're starting off with is a PowerPoint presentation on the iPad, very simple presentation with a few uh, special effects added in just to show that they copy over. And what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you three ways to get this Keynote presentation over to uh, the iPad. We're going to look at emailing it. We're going to look at sending it to Dropbox, which uh, is, is not particularly secure. And we're going to show it uh, by my favorite way of uh, transportation of uh, secure data is uh, Spider Oak. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, email this presentation from PowerPoint uh, uh, to the iPad. So uh, obviously we select the email function. Um, and I will mail it to myself, bill at hightechlawyer.com. That's also the address you can reach me at if you'd like to email me. Um, and uh, let's get this done. Okay, we're sending this off. Now what we also want to do while we're here is go ahead and save it to Dropbox and Spider Oak. So I'm going to save this to Dropbox. Oh, actually, so I'm going to do Spider Oak first, I think. And uh, name the file. And I'm using Spider Oak Hive, which is a new Dropbox uh, like a, a system for uh, Spider Oak, and it works just like Dropbox. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and serve it to Dropbox. And so we'll get all this done at one time so we don't have to come back and look at it. There's Dropbox, and so I'll name the document. Now, after I save this to uh, Dropbox, I'm going to go to switch to the iPad mode. And we'll look at the iPad and, and pull up this keynote presentation in each of these applications the email, the Dropbox, and the Spider Oak. Okay, so here's the iPad view. And so uh, the first thing I want to do is go to the email function. And there is your. Uh, We'll go up there, and there's the email. Now, it's going to take a while to load down. This is a fairly hefty email, and the bigger it is, the longer it takes to load down, and that's the downside to email. So I'm going to truncate this. Uh, it, it actually took about five minutes to download, uh, but I, we're going to avoid that And uh, by the magic of uh, time lapse. So now there's the uh, PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to select the application. Look in the right-hand corner. I'm going to open in Keynote and it will convert right over. And it's that easy. Alright, now it's in the Keynote file. Let's open it up and you'll see that it works just like the PowerPoint that we had uh, previously. So let's look at it. Same effects. And you'll see the zoom out, zoom out, and it gets it just transferred right over without any real changes having to be made to the document. Now I want to show you some other features. Uh, I want to show you how easy it is to do transitions and effects in a Keynote. So I'm going to um, take you to the sidebar allows you to select the doc slide you're going to pick. So I'm going to work with the text here. I've highlighted the text. I'm going to hit animate uh, the text. And it gives me a transition and builds warning. And I'm going to hit the, uh, the first build in. And I'm going to hit bouncy text. It's one of the cute ones that uh, you can use to give it some uh, oomph. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to accept that. So I'm just going to hit the screen. Just touch the screen anywhere. And it will accept that. Alright, and then I'm going to choose another effect. Um, to build out, I'm going to make the text fall apart. 
So that's my build out, and that's what it will look like. So we'll keep that. And that'll be a, a kind of cute effect, uh, uh, kind of keep the audience uh, interested. So uh, now we look at it. The text bounces in, then it falls apart. Voila. Now I'm going to show you how to add a slide. So we go to the sidebar, we just uh, hit the side of the screen, and we see the little plus at the bottom. Hit that. You get to select the slide format you want. You select the slide format just by pushing it. All right, and double tab to edit, and then you type in what you want to type. And that's how easy it is to create a new slide uh, in Keynote. Same thing for the bottom text. And there's a new slide. It's this easy. Okay, so we go back out to this. Uh, to now I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a uh, chart or graph. Um, so you select a new slide, and we'll put we'll call this chart. Okay, and then if you look up at the top of the screen, we hit the uh, plus sign, and we see the, the charts. I choose a 3D chart. You can move it around uh, the way you want it to look. You can edit the data. You can relabel the data. Um, I'm going to have an effect building it in so it comes in in a movement mode that's going to look like that. That's going to be very impressive. I'm going to slow the speed down a little bit, which I can by choosing options under the build in. And so well now we'll see what it looks like. And that's pretty impressive. And you can label these any way you want to. It's just a matter of editing the data. You make them look any way you want to as well. Now look at the sidebar. You see how easy I can change the order of the slides just by sliding it up and moving it into place where I want it? That's all you need to do to change the order of the slides. Now I'm going to show you how to do some impressive transitions from slide to slide. So you pick your slide, you put transitions, and you just select a transition. One of my favorite is the cube. So this is what the cube looks like. It's a very nice effect. And I'll put a number of, uh, 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 of these in here. So that's another cube. Then I go into the next slide. I'm going to do the doorway. That's a good one. And then we'll just throw some transitions in here as we go along. That's a page turn. That's a good one. There's a color one I like a, a lot. And that's not it. Uh, let me go back. Color panes. That's it. Okay, so we're adding these transitions, and then we'll see how they look. And I think you'll be impressed with them. Start back in the beginning. Go to the presentation mode. You know, we have our other effects we already put in. Falls apart. Transition to cube. Doorway. Page turn. Color pane transition. That's a nice one. And then there's our chart. So I guess that uh, should give you a good idea of how... Uh, Easily it is to take a PowerPoint, um, move it from uh, PC to iPad, 
and then edit it. The final thing I'm going to show you is how to pull a document up from Spider Oak or Dropbox. It works basically the same way, so I'm going to use Spider Oak. And uh, you know, recall that we saved the document, so um, it, either you look in Dropbox or Spider Oak for the document that you saved over. And there it is, we called conversion, it was the one that was misspelled. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, select conversion uh, PowerPoint app. And uh, it takes a few minutes. Uh, one thing about Spider Oak Hive, it does take a little bit longer to load than Dropbox does, but the security edition is uh, well worth it in my opinion. Um, Dropbox is just not uh, adequate in my opinion for, uh, for uh, uh, lawyers to use for confidential documents. So you see the, the PowerPoint transferred over. Now we need to put it into a Keynote. So we select the application Keynote. And you see that it copies on over. I know we've, we've got an iCloud interference. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so the uh, PowerPoint is loading up. Transferring to Keynote. And there it is. And, uh, and it's a, on our selection of uh, files. So let's look at it and see if it transferred over accurately. Now recall this is not the one we just dressed up with all the additional uh, bells and whistles. This is the one that was originally uh, that we originally transferred over. So it doesn't have all the additions we made to it. But you see how, it, how well it works. Everything came over just like it should. And there you go. So that's all there is to transferring a PowerPoint on PC to Keynote on iPad. Hope this and the extra bonus uh, lessons were helpful to you. And until next time, this is Bill Latham, the high-tech lawyer, saying goodbye.